In today's video, I'm going to explain why it's better to buy a home now in 2021 than to rent. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Kabidi. I'm a realtor in the state of Pennsylvania. And before this video starts, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Go subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn that bell button on so you guys never miss an upload. And with that being said, let's get right into today's video. All right, so for today's topic, I get really excited about just because, you know, telling all these renters out here that they have the opportunity to buy, they have all the requirements to buy and they're not realizing that and they're just getting so excited that you know they're able to own a home is really exciting and there are some requirements that you do need in order to buy a home but a lot of you guys out there that are renting you're not aware of those requirements so i want to be here giving you guys that information giving you guys that value so you know you know if you're able to qualify for a mortgage and gain some equity so a lot of people think buying is just going into debt you know having mortgages all that stuff but literally you're renting and renting you're just putting more money in your landlord's pocket you're making your landlord 100 times richer and think about it the landlord could have like 20 homes 20 units and they're getting all this money coming in passively when you could be putting your money into something that could be generating you some some equity okay so these are my thoughts on why you should buy and not rent all right i always told myself i didn't want to rent just because i don't want to make someone else richer i want to put that money towards something of use so when you are buying a home it's creating value you know you're gaining equity and even if you're putting as little as three three percent three and a half percent down you're paying principal each month, the principal and interest each month that is gaining you equity into that home. And when you have a certain amount of equity, you can be able to receive, talk to the bank, talk to your lender, you can be able to receive a home equity line of credit. Now, if you're looking to get more money passively and you know get that financially free life, you can get that home equity line of credit and you can, whatever that is, you can take that money, put it on a down payment for another house, use that money, fix it up a little bit, and rent it out. And this is called the Burr Method. And what the Burr Method is, is you're buying a property, you can use that um, home equity line of credit, you're rehabbing it, you know, doing some minor fix, you know, dealing with the carpet, maybe it needs a redone, dealing with kitchen, the bathroom. And then after that, you're renting it out. And once you're renting it out, you know, you got your tenants in, paying you monthly, then you refinance. And when you refinance, you're buying low, you're, you're, um, you're putting equity into the home, you're, you're putting value into a home, making it appreciate, you're gaining that value. Like I said, that value is the main thing. And you refinance, and then you're repeating the process over and over again. And then you use the equity in that home. You buy another home. And you see it's a compound effect. It's a domino effect of you continuing to purchase homes. And you're becoming the landlord making that passive income. So buying has so much, so much value of gaining equity. And equity is huge. Equity is really huge. So I want to tell you guys, the number one thing you need to worry about when you're buying is your credit. And what lenders look at is your FICO credit score. So don't worry about Credit Karma. Don't worry about, you know, all those websites out there. Worry about your FICO credit score and building that up, making sure you're paying down all this unnecessary debt, all your car payments, stuff like that to build that credit up and try to use, you know, 10 to 30% of your credit line to help gain uh, your, your score and build your score up as well. The other thing you want to look at is your job. You want to have a steady job. Banks are going to look at that to make sure you're able to pay off the mortgage uh, right away. You know, paying it month to month. So you want to make sure you have a steady job. They love seeing two years. So just try to make sure you keep that same job, keep it steady, and focus on that credit score. So right now, if you're renting about, you know, $800 per month to, you know, $1,200, even higher, 
you may be able to qualify for a mortgage. You're paying that much and that's what some mortgages are costing depending on, you know, the state you're living in. But in the state of PA, you know, some mortgages are 800, some mortgages are 900. So you may be able to qualify for a mortgage and get a house, gain some equity. And you know, if you are looking for that passive income, get some more properties as well. So if you are, make sure you contact me and you're in the state of PA. And if you guys have any questions, just comment them down below or you can DM me on Instagram. That's in the description as well. I answer all my DMs. And guys, if there are other videos you wanna see or you're curious about, just comment them down below as well. But I hope this you know, video gave some value and some information that will be some guidance to you and that will help you in the long run, in the future. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Go subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn that bell button on so you guys never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video.